Lord with Hosanna's reign, Jesus Savior reigneth ever and crown him, crown him, prophet and priest and king, Christ is coming. Over the world victorious, power and glory unto the Lord belong. Praise Him, praise Him, tell of His excellent greatness. Praise Him, praise Him, ever in joyful song. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing that you have made and forgive the sins of all those who are penitent. Create and make in us a new and contrite hearts that we may be truly sorry for our sins and obtain from you the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness through Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen. Please be seated. As we are in the presence of the Lord, let us confess our unworthiness. Let us confess our sin, knowingly or unknowingly we commit against God and against our fellow brothers and sisters. Lord, help us to see ourselves as you see us. Save us from our blindness to our faults and sin. Our consciousness has been dull. Our sense of responsibility weak. We have not loved our neighbors as we should. Forgive us and change us. We are often selfish and greedy jealous of others and proud, forgive us and change us. We commit sin secretly, we give in to temptations, and we go back to do the wrong we have given up for some time. Forgive us and change us. We have valued material things as far more important than spiritual things. Forgive us and change us. We have not used the gifts you have given us in your service as we should forgive us and change us. We have not responded to those in pain and suffering as we should forgive us and change us, strengthen our desire to live as your children, make us ashamed when we fail you, Please fill our lives with your Holy Spirit. May your Spirit cleanse us and transform us. Amen. God is light and there is no darkness at all in him. If we live in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus purifies us from every sin. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and faithful spirit in me. Let us move to the prayer of thanksgiving. In Lent, we are called to remember Christ's life on earth, his words, his actions, his ministry, and his death and resurrection. Thank you, God, for the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ, to become a human being like us, to share our life in the world as a baby, a child, a youth, and as an adult. We thank you, O God. For the example of Jesus' life, for his joy in serving others, for his compassion for those in need, for his actions of healing. 
we thank you o god for his commitment to do the father's will for his complete trust in the father we thank you o god for his suffering on the cross for his death offered as sacrifice and in our place we thank you o god for his glorious resurrection and ascension for his continuing prayers for us for his sitting at the right hand of the father for his gift of the holy spirit and for the promise of his second coming we thank you o god for his okay let us stand together for the time of praise and worship our english chorus that we are going to sing you are my strength when i am weak you are the treasure that i seek you are my all in all you were my strength when i am weak you were the treasure that i seek you were my all in all seeking you as a precious jewel lot to give up i pray full you were my all in all jesus lamb of god worthy is your name jesus lamb of god worthy is your name taking my sin my cross my shame rising again i bless your name you are my all in all when i fall down you pick me up when i am dry you fill my cup you are my all in all jesus lamb of god worthy is your name jesus lamb of god worthy is your name lamb of god worthy is your name jesus lamb of god worthy is your name worthy Your name. Yes, Lord Almighty Jesus, you are our strength when we are weak. Yes, we recognize that we are unworthiness and our weaknesses. Lord, come into our lives. Lamb of God, fill us with your Holy Spirit. Strengthen us to worship you. strengthen us to glory for your name strengthen us to obey your commandments of god please speak to each one of us through this worship thank you lord thank you jesus tirupadam nambi vanden kirubai nirai yesuve tamadenbai kan kandideden deva samugathile so let us sing this tamil chorus tamil hymn with the attitude of coming to the feet of Jesus as Mary 
comes to Jesus feet and anoints Jesus திருப்பாதம் நம்பி வந்தே கிருவை நீரையேசுவே தமதை கண்டரந்தே தேவா சமூகத்திலே தமதை Please be seated for the ministry of the word the first lesson from the book of old testament book of isaiah chapter 42 verses 1 to 9 would be read in tamil வாசிக்கும்படியாக தெரிந்து கொள்ளப்பட்ட வேத பகுதி ஐசாயா சாப்டர் ஃபார்ட்டி டூ வேர்சஸ் ஒன் டு நைன் ஏசாயா நாற்பத்தி ரெண்டாம் அதிகாரம் வசனம் ஒன்று முதல் ஒன்பது இதோ நான் ஆதரிக்கிற என் தாசன் நான் தெரிந்து கொண்டவரும் என் ஆத்மாவுக்கு பிரியமானவரும் இவரே என் ஆவியை அவர் மேல் அமர பண்ணினேன் அவர் புறஜாதிகளுக்கு நியாயத்தை வெளிப்படுத்துவார் அவர் கூக்கரலிடவும் மாட்டார் தம்முடைய சத்தத்தை உயர்த்தவும் 
அதை வீதியிலே கேட்க பண்ணவும் மாட்டார் அவர் நெறிந்த நாணலை முறியாமலும் மங்கி எறிகிற திரியை அணையாமலும் நியாயத்தை உண்மையாக வெளிப்படுத்துவார் அவர் நியாயத்தை பூமியிலே நிலைப்படுத்தும் மட்டும் இழக்கரிப்பதும் இல்லை பதறுவதும் இல்லை அவருடைய வேதத்துக்கு தீவுகள் காத்திருக்கும் வானங்களை சிருஷ்டித்து அவைகளை விரித்து பூமியையும் அதிலுள் உற்பத்தியாயிருக்கவைகளையும் பரப்பினவரும் அதில் இருக்கிற ஜனத்துக்கு சுவாசத்தையும் அதில் நடமாடுகிறவர்களுக்கு ஆவியையும் கொடுக்கிறவருமான கத்தராகிய தேவன் சொல்லுகிறதாவது நீர் குருடருடைய கண்களை திறக்கவும் கட்டுண்டவர்களை காவலில் இருந்தும் இருளில் இருக்கிறவர்களை சிறைச்சாலையில் இருந்து விடுவிக்கவும் கத்தராகிய நான் நீதியின்படி உம்மை அழைத்து உம்முடைய கையை பிடித்து உம்மை தற்காத்து உம்மை ஜனத்திற்கு உடன்படிக்கையாகவும் ஜாதிகளுக்கு ஒளியாகவும் வைக்கிறேன் நான் கர்த்தர் இது என் நாமம் என் மகிமையை வேறொருவனுக்கும் என் துதியை விக்கிரகங்களுக்கும் கொடேன் பூர்வ காலத்திலே தெரிவிக்கப்பட்டவைகள் இதோ நிறைவேறலாயின புதியவைகளையும் நானே அறிவிக்கிறேன் அவைகள் தோன்றாததுக்கு முன்னே அவைகளை உங்களுக்கு சொல்லுகிறேன் வாசிக்க முடியான வேத பகுதி வாசித்தாயிற்று தேவனே உமக்கு மகிமை உண்டாவதாக ஆமேன் The responsive reading is taken from Psalm 36, verse 5 to 11. Your steadfast love, O Lord, extends to the heavens, your faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness like the mountains of God, your judgments are like the great deep. Man and beast will save the Lord. How precious is your steadfast love, O God. The children of mankind take refuge in the shadow of your wings. So with you in the fountain of life in your light do we see light O oh, continue your steadfast love to those who know you and your righteousness to the upright of heart Let reads together Let not the foot of arrogance come upon me nor the hand of the wicked drive me away Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen the third reading is taken from the gospel of john chapter 1 to 11 the holy week third reading is taken from uh, chapter 12 verses 1 to 11 six days before the passover Jesus therefore came to Bethany where Jesus uh, where, where Lazarus whom Jesus had raised from the dead so they gave a dinner for him they, uh, there Martha served and Lazarus was one of those reclined reclining with him at table Mary therefore took a pound of expensive ointment made from the pure nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet where uh, with uh, her hair The house was filled with the fragrance of of the perfume but Judas Iscariot one of his disciples he who was about to betray him said why was this ointment not sold for 300 denarii and given to the poor he said this not because he cared about poor but because he was thief and having charge of the money bag he used to help himself to what was put into Jesus said leave her alone so that she may keep it for the day of my burial for the poor you always have with you but you do not have you do not always have me when the large crowd of jews learned that jesus was there they came not only on account of him but also see lazarus whom he had raised from the dead so the the chief priest made plan to put lazarus to death as well because on account of him many of the jews were going away and believing in jesus this is the word of god please be seated the holy week from yesterday we started 
and as Jesus entered in Jerusalem as a king people received children received women received and others received Jesus as a king into the city and into Zion the passage that has been read for us the theme has been given to us is Martha served and Mary anointed Jesus in this entire passage we see two dimensions of Jesus ministry that we are going to learn from this passage from two sisters Martha and Mary Martha's attitude and Martha's character and Mary's attitude and Mary's character that we are going to learn from this passage very briefly the context of this passage Jesus anointed at Bethany Jesus loves to come to this this town this village because he had a beloved family the family called Martha Mary and Lazarus whenever he comes to this place he goes to this house in this house there are three beautiful people wonderful people who love who loves Jesus so now this context after the resurrection of Lazarus from his death when we read when we read chapter 11 you see the death of Lazarus and how Jesus has been raised Lazarus from death so you see that wonderful picture in chapter 11 in chapter 12 you see that this family both the sisters and Lazarus invited Jesus for a dinner six days before the Passover Jesus arrived Jesus arrived at Bethany where Lazarus lived whom Jesus had raised from the dead here a dinner was given in Jesus honor these sisters invited Jesus for a dinner three people Lazarus was sitting with Jesus on the table reclined with Jesus see that Lazarus was one of those reclining with him at the tab at table so before Mary Martha Martha served this is very very important lesson that we are going to learn two important lesson that we are learning from this this passage Martha sought Martha was so grateful and so happy to serve Jesus her service was appreciated and valued by Jesus Martha Mary find themselves with Jesus as their guest I believe the purpose of this passage is to highlight two very different ways of what it means to be disciples of Jesus two different characters of disciples of Jesus Christ Martha welcomed Jesus into our house if you see in the gospel according to Luke chapter 10 there you see Martha Mary Martha welcomed Jesus into our house in this passage also you see Martha invited Jesus into their house for dinner welcomed and invited 
both the sentence both the words are similar welcoming jesus into their house inviting jesus into their home and to honor him no doubt martha was full of hospitable zeal her character is hospitable character it is not every day you have the messiah king as your guest of honor it is not every day in john's gospel after all we have received that jesus loved martha chapter 11 verse 5 jesus loved martha and martha showed great deal of faith in christ that is her responsibility to G- towards jesus love jesus loved martha and martha response martha's response was has a great faith in christ in difficult situation in difficult time when death was there in the home and she believed and she trusted in jesus if jesus would have been here so my brother would have not died that kind of faith that martha had in christ she is a hospitable and hard working woman but one thing that lacking in our discipleship life but martha was much distracted with many things the problem is that it misses it misses the heart of discipleship in which we do not first foremost serve jesus he has come to serve us in mark chapter 10 verse 45 says jesus has come to serve us for even the, even even the son of man came not to be served but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many to miss the true heart of discipleship is to miss the mission of jesus laid out in luke chapter 4 verses 18 and 19 the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor he has set me to proclaim liberty to the captive and recovering of sight to the blind and set out set at liberty to those who are oppressed to proclaim the years of the lords forever so that is the mission of god where martha serving jesus and distracting herself with many things she is missing the real mission of jesus christ in our life the real mission of jesus christ is jesus came not to be served but to serve jesus came to this world not to be served but to serve because he has been anointed by the father and holy spirit to to pre- proclaim the good news and release the captives and set free all those who are in in slavery so that is the mission of jesus christ so now through the life of martha what we are learning so we are learning to serve others to serve others so more far more important is to serve others is more than serving jesus that is what jesus says to us jesus choose you and a 
appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit may be abide in Christ. So that is the purpose that Jesus called you and me and to bear fruit. Those fruits not to use for ourselves to abide in Christ and use for others. That is the mission of Jesus Christ. So Jesus wants to teach each one of us from the life of Martha, first you abide in Christ and bear fruit and serve others. The now second character that you see, Mary anointed Jesus. Mary anoints the feet of Jesus. Mary took a pond of very costly oil of a spike knot, <clears throat> anointed the feet of Jesus. In the midst of the supper, Mary gave a remarkable gift to Jesus. It wasn't unusual to wash the feet of guests, but it was unusual, unusual to do it during the meal itself. To use very costly oil to do it and to wipe the feet with her hair, using the hair as a kind of towel. So three very important qualities of Mary that we are learning is Mary's gift was remarkably humble. She presented a gift to Jesus which was remarkably humbly humble herself and given to Jesus. She considered her precious ointment only good enough for his feet to attend to the feet of the task of the most lowly slave, thus Mary's action. The Mary's action was she went down to the feet of Jesus, humbled herself and given a very precious gift, very important gift and costly gift and anointed Jesus. So Mary's gift was remarkably extreme. She used a lot. So later we see that Judah says, this perfume would cost for a one year wages, 100 dinars, so costly gift that she has presented to Jesus Christ. Mary's gift was remarkably unself-conscious. Not only did she give the gift of the expensive gift, and she also wiped his feet with her hair. This, this means that she let down her hair in the public, something in Jewish women would rarely do it. In all of this, Mary is a study of devotion to Jesus. The life of Mary is a painted for us in three memorable pictures in each is she has done. She, when she gave the gift, when she poured that oil on the feet of Jesus Christ and she has been devoted herself to the Lord Jesus Christ and anointed Jesus Christ for a wonderful, wonderful gesture that Mary presented. And when we see Mary three times and she came to the feet of Jesus, first time in Luke chapter 10 verse 39, 
sat at the feet of Jesus. What she did? She learned from Jesus. If you want to become a true disciple, if you want to become a genuine disciple, so we should sit at the feet of Jesus and learn from him. And second thing, second place, in John chapter 11 verse 32, when Jesus entered into her house, she ran to Jesus and she fell at the feet of Jesus. She surrendered herself to Jesus. If you want to become a disciple of Jesus Christ and you, if you want to anoint Jesus, so you should surrender yourself by falling and frustrating at the feet of Jesus. And third one, Jesus, uh, the Ma Mary anointed Jesus' feet. So this is very, very important lesson for us to learn from the character of Mary. Let us come to, to the feet of Jesus to learn many things from him. Let us surrender ourselves and say that Jesus, you are my king, you are my ruler, I am nothing, and you take control of my life. So that is what you need to say. And you should, I should accept that Jesus is a king and ruler and a messiah and anointed him. So now Jesus anointed as a king and Jesus anointed as a king and entered into, the Jerus into Jerusalem and people received him and they thought that he is a different kind of king. But Jesus' mission and Jesus' ministry and Jesus' work is to serve others. To serve and give his life a ransom for many. That's what Jesus came to this world. And people received as a king and Sings, Hosanna. Hosanna means save us. Hosanna means save us. Messiah, relieve, deliver us, redeem us. Now Jesus has been anointed as a king for the important cause, for the burial, for the death on the cross of Calvary. And he is going to serve as a Lamb who has been sacrificed himself and taking all the sins of the humanity and placing before the holy place to the Lord Almighty. That is the mission of Jesus Christ. He came as a suffering servant even though he was a king. So now let us learn these two important qualities in us. Accept Jesus Christ as our king and ruler. Surrender ourselves and allow Jesus to rule and serve as Jesus expects us to serve others. Serve poor, serve, uh, deliver people from every sins and from every captivity. That is the mission of Jesus Christ who came to this world to suffer and die for all of us. Let us close our eyes and pray to the Lord God Almighty. Loving Father, we thank you that you have been so faithful to all of us, so kind to all of us. Thank you, Lord, for the love that you have towards Martha, the great respect that you have towards Mary and Lazarus. The same intense you have each one of us, for each one of us. Lord, thank you for loving us. Thank you for respecting us. Thank you for taking us as your children by serving others, serving us and taking all our sins 
and our shame and our cross and you suffered on the cross and died for all of us thank you thank you for doing that kind of wonderful sal salvation on the cross of calvary thank you jesus please stand together and uh, say an act of trust in god say say all we commit ourselves to you we hear your promise your people in your word we claim those promises for ourselves as your people please fulfill your promises in our lives in the coming days as we face temptation strengthen us as we face failure comfort us as we experience success give us your joy as we face evil protect us empower us to live and witness as your children for jesus sake amen so our closing and offer to him would be blessed assurance jesus is mine oh what a foretaste of glory divine hair of salvation purchase of god let us sing together and uh, offer our offerings as we sing this song bless Jesus is mine oh what a foretaste of glory divine heir of salvation purchase of god This is my song praising my savior all the year This is my song This is my song praising my savior all the This is my song praising my savior all the day long This is my story This is my song 
praising my Savior all the day long. Let us say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen so let us say together the grace may the grace of our lord jesus christ and love of god and fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now and forevermore Amen 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 God be with you